Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download Windows 10 and then create installation media on a USB flash drive. So the first thing you need to do is go to this web page. The link will be in the description. And you want to come down here to the middle of the page where it says Download Tool Now. And you need an 8 gigabyte or larger USB flash drive. And USB 3.0 or USB 3.1 is just fine. Uh, the faster the better because that will let you install Windows 10 even faster. And if you open up this little section right here, it explains what happens behind the scenes here and what the steps are. And you need a blank USB flash drive that has to be at least eight gigabytes in size. Larger is fine, and again, USB 3.0 or 3.1 is what you want so that your installation goes faster. So then you go ahead and just download the tool, and it'll come down quite quick because it's not downloading all of Windows 10 just yet. So then you want to go to your Downloads folder right here and just double click on this executable. And then that's going to run this little utility that has a couple of different options for how you want to do this. And once this loads up, we'll go in and pick the correct option to actually create the installation media as opposed to upgrading Windows 10 on my current machine. So you've got to accept the license terms or you can't go any further. And then it's going to come up in a few seconds here with the different options that you can do. And what it's doing now is looking at my machine and, and loading a few things, which are sort of irrelevant, to be honest. So here's your two choices. Upgrade this PC now. Don't do that. What you want to do instead is create installation media. So once you do that, you pick Next. And then you have some options here. If you uncheck this, it lets you change things and you can pick whatever language is your native language or your preferred language right here. And then you can pick Windows 10 as your only choice here. And then you can choose between 64-bit or 32-bit. For modern hardware that's been made in the last five to 10 years almost, you wanna pick 64-bit. So once you do that, you'll go ahead and do this and you want to choose USB flash drive. Now if you want, you could do it to an ISO file and then you have to burn that ISO file to a DVD later and a lot of modern PCs don't even have optical drives and so you're much better off with a USB flash drive in most situations because that'll work with any machine whether it has an optical drive or not. So go ahead and click Next and then it lets you choose which USB flash drive you want to use. And I already plugged my USB flash drive into my machine. And you want to make sure there's nothing on that USB flash drive. Any data that is there is going to get wiped out when you do this. So you've been warned. Anything that's on there will get deleted. So we'll go ahead and click Next. And then it's going to go ahead and download this. And depending on how fast your internet connection is, this might take a few minutes or longer. I've got a fairly fast internet connection for downloads at least. So it's going to come down relatively quickly. There are three steps to this process. First, it's going to download Windows 10, and that depends on how fast your internet connection is. Then it verifies the download, and that depends on how fast your machine is. And then finally, it writes it to the Windows 10 media on your flash drive, and that depends on how fast your flash drive is. So you want a USB 3.0 or 3.1 flash drive for the best results here. So now you have a USB flash drive with the installation media for Windows 10 May 2021 update, which is the latest version at the time of recording. This version is also known as version 21H1. Depending on when you watch this, you might have a newer version. 
you can use this media to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 on a new machine that you might have built from parts. After that, you'll have a functioning copy of Windows 10, but you'll still need a license key to activate it. This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out. Really? You have a lot to say.